Hi viewers, this is Mohan Vamsi Pentakota. I'm a data warehousing and business intelligence consultant. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use a case statement within SQL. A case statement has if, then, else reasoning. A case statement contains when, then, else clauses with an end terminator. A case statement starts with an expression followed by list of conditions. The result set of each condition must be of the same data type. Conditions are evaluated in the order listed. Once a condition is found to be true, the case statement will return the result of the corresponding condition and will not evaluate any conditions any further. Let's look at this example. In this example, one is the expression and in the first condition, two is evaluated against one and this is a false statement so the first condition is skipped and the case statement will move on to the second condition in the second condition one is equal to one then the word one is returned as a result the else statement will not execute as the second condition is true and the SQL statement terminates. Let's execute and see the result. One. Let's make some changes to the case statement and see how the result changes. Let's change the expression from 1 to 2. And let's execute the same statement again. Now the result set is changed to 2. Now let's change the expression value to 4. And let's execute the same sort of statement again. Now the result set is 3. Let's look at a different example. An expression within a case statement is optional. In this example, the case statement starts with the word case followed by one class and followed by a condition 1 equal to 1. If 1 equal to 1 is a true condition, then the word 1 is returned. When 2 equal to 2 is a true condition, then the word 2 is written. Else, the word 3 is written. And end terminates the case statement. In this case, 1 equal to 1 is true. And the word 1 is written. And the case statement will not evaluate the conditions any further. Let's execute the self statement and look at the result. One. Let's make some changes to the case statement and verify the results. I'm changing one equal to one to one equal to two. Execute the self statement. You can see the result is changed to 2 because 1 equal to 2 is not a true condition. Once the case statement finds that the first condition is false, it will move on to the second condition. Let's make further changes to the case statement. I changed from 
2 equal to 2, 2, 2 equal to 3. Let's execute the setup statement. Now the else clause is executed and the case statement is terminated. Now let's look at a real time scenario which is requested by most of the business users at the client place. In this example, I'm going to show you how to segment customers by age groups using a case statement. The case statement will start with the word case followed by the condition if the age is greater than 100 then written age greater than 100 years. The second condition is if the age is between 51 and 100 then written age between 51 and 100 years. The third condition if the age is between 41 and 50 then written age between 41 and 50 years. If none of the above conditions are true then written age less than 41 years and then terminate the case statement. I'm naming the case statement column as age underscore groups. The case statement is followed by count function and the columns of the setup statement are obtained from the table customer followed by group by class. When I execute the statement and look at the result set, I can easily understand there are five customers under 41 years age. There are two customers whose age is greater than 100 years. There is one customer whose age is between 41 and 50 years. There are eight customers whose age is between 51 and 100 years. Thanks for watching my videos and feel free to ask questions.